Buckinghamshire is a real hidden gem within the UK. There are so many hidden treasures for people to come and really discover. Wadston is a beautiful gem within that. And the National Trust is fortunate that it has quite a few houses within Buckinghamshire. We have really quite a lot to offer. Buckinghamshire offers the complete experience. It's wonderful and natural and accessible. We're surrounded by the, the beautiful Chilterns that run like a spine from the top to the bottom of the county. We stood here in Marlow Rowing Club. It's, it's a great rowing club, really, really fantastic atmosphere, great to be a part of. And it's really the heart of the community. It's got fantastic programmes in terms of getting people on the water. The other side of the bridge to my left, we've got a Long Bridge Scout Centre. They have programs very similar with canoeing and sailing as well as rowing. They also do powerboat testing. If you're up for a little bit less exercise but still want to be out on the water, go down there and drive a motorboat. And also just down the road, you can go and watch an Olympic event at Dorney. There's going to be so many opportunities for people to get involved with everything 2012 all over Buckinghamshire. One of the big benefits of Buckinghamshire, of course, with Olympics is we're a host county. And we've been preparing for it for a long time. I mean, ever since 2005, when London was announced as the host city, I got stuck in. We've got programmes in place, connecting people up so that in communities, in, in schools, sports teams, sports clubs, they've got networks that help talented people come through, so they're identified, they're nurtured. Our goal in the first instance was for people who work and live in the county of Buckinghamshire to seek inspiration from the games that can lead to a lasting legacy. London 2012 presents the greatest opportunity for us to create a lasting legacy here at Stoke Mandeville for disability sport and Paralympic sport. Wheel Powers, the national charity and disability sports organisation, we're also the owners of Stoke Mandeville Stadium, which is based here in Buckinghamshire. The Paralympic Games started here at Stoke Mandeville with the work of Sir Ludwig Gutmann, who was a German neurosurgeon. He introduced sport as part of the rehabilitation of patients at Stoke Mandeville Hospital who were coming back from the war with spinal cord injuries. He organised a competition to coincide with the 1948 London Olympic Games and really from those early beginnings the Paralympic Games and the Paralympic movement began. Whether you're young or uh, has been like me, uh, the Paralympics are going to be truly inspirational. G Healthcare's ties to Buckinghamshire are historical. They're a part of the heritage of our company ever since the founding of an R&D centre here in the Amersham area in the 1940s. Much of G Healthcare's future product development is driven out of the R&D facilities and these are focused on the rise of what we call molecular medicine, helping our customers look at diseases such as Alzheimer's, cancer and heart disease, helping them tailor treatments and diagnostics better to their patients and to the complexities of the diseases as we come to understand them more and more. Buckinghamshire is rich in leisure opportunities. You've got us in the north of the county. We're attracting about a million visitors a year, more on the adrenaline side of things, I guess. Silverstone sits right in the middle of the UK. It's owned by the British Racing Drivers Club, which is the most significant club in the world, and it's been the home of the British Grand Prix for 60 odd years now. Pinewood Studios was founded in 1934, and it was built to emulate the film studios that are available in Hollywood. Today it is the largest film studio in Europe. Pinewood Studios role here in Buckinghamshire is to act as a cluster for the creative industries. And what we do is we provide the hard infrastructure that filmmakers, television producers, computer games animators need in order to create the fabulous content that they're world renowned for. One of the key attributes of Buckinghamshire is the way it has embraced business and entrepreneurship and the county has been working with Bucks Business First to foster those entrepreneurial skills and we're really pleased to play our part in that activity. Buckingham has been very supportive of Silverstone over the years. You can see opposite me here the wing which is a state-of-the-art building and conference centre. There's also track extensions, Porsche have moved a 26 acre site into here. All of that's been enabled by Buckinghamshire and they've been very, very easy to deal with. Midsummer Murders is filmed here in Buckinghamshire and we've used lots of places like Beaconsfield, Amersham, everywhere around here. It's a beautiful county, it's so close for us because we're at Pinewood and yet we look like we're in the middle of nowhere. So it's, it's fantastic, it couldn't be better for a, a midsummer location. All the locals love the fact that they are midsummer and they're very helpful and people have bumped into Norwegians, Swedes, Danes, you know, so many people, Germans, they're all over here following the Midsummer Trail. 
The Waterside Theatre was the vision and ambition of Aylesbury Royal District Council, who wanted to put a landmark building right at the heart of Aylesbury, but something very, very special for beyond the Vale and right across the county. The whole concept is very much that we bring the West End right to your doorstep. And I think already we're seeing in and around Aylesbury and across Buckinghamshire a new theatre-going habit. Other organisations can also benefit hugely from the excellent quality of life that are open to their employees who do actually want to come and live in an area with very good schools, very good opportunities for leisure and, and so on. So aside from being a great place to do business, it's a great place to attract employees to live and be a part of the community. Buckinghamshire is a well-positioned county, good infrastructure, you've got good roads, M1 one side, the M4 to the other side, it's a good east-west links as well. And some very nice towns that can be developed out. So there's lots of opportunities for people to move into the area. It's a very rich county and worth a visit.